Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to take you through Amazon Systems Manager. If your environment in the cloud is having a few instances, you will be aware of what is running where, what versions you are running, what libraries are there. But think of a scenario where you have thousands of systems running in different regions, then it is not an easy task to manage them. A systems administrator goes through a lot of scenarios we'll take take them one by one here so a simple one that comes across every single day is how do you execute a command on multiple instances or how do you execute a script on different instances so if you are having two or three you can do it manually but when you are having four or five or even fifty thousand it's not going to be easy to do it manually so the other scenario is how do i bootstrap my instances or how do i maintain the state of my instances if you have Windows instances, there are certain packages or libraries that you will install. If it is a Linux instance, you will run some bash commands or some Python scripts that you will run. And it is not going to be easy maintaining different types of scripts in different places and having configuration management. So the other scenario is how do I know what is running in my instances? What is the version of the package that was installed last time? And what is the version that we need to go into? And what version is out of support or what version is within the license given by the vendor so that we need to have an inventory of all the packages and libraries that are running in my system and finally what is my maintenance window on my systems so do i do a change during the maintenance window or what is the schedule for this server when can i take it offline and is it possible to patch my window servers during that scheduled windows or can i patch it whenever the patch is released by microsoft so these are some of the questions if we take it forward how do I automate all of these things so that we don't have to spend a lot of manual effort in redoing things again and again? And how do I store my secrets? If you have a license key for your Windows systems, where do you store it securely and how do you distribute to all your instances? It is just not past, uh, your license key. You might have an API key also. You might have a secure key, secret key. Any of the secrets that you want to share among all your libraries, how do you do that when you have a fleet of instances? This is where Amazon's Systems Manager comes in to help you and make your life easy. Amazon has categorized the services into three different capabilities. On the first group, you have the deploy, configure, and administer capabilities, where you have two features. One is called as a run command that helps you to run a single command or multiple commands or a series of commands across a lot of instances. And the next capability is the state manager. So when you're talking about state manager, you will define a target state saying update my latest patches as soon as Microsoft releases or maintain a certain package at version 1.1. So that is what a state management will do for you. Once you define your target state, state manager will try to keep your instances or resources at that state all the time. And whenever there is a deviation, it will correct it automatically and send you a notification. When we come to the shared capabilities, you have a maintenance windows and parameter store. What it means is a certain group of instances, say for production databases, you don't want to take it offline during the weekdays. Probably on a Sunday midnight, you want to give a maintenance window so that you, uh, admin or some other teams can do some performance activities or maintenance activities. So that is how you define maintenance windows based on tagging of environment, based on uh, the naming convention that you might use, or any feature that you might be conducive to maintain your infrastructure. And finally, the parameter store helps you to keep your secrets or environment variables or licenses or API keys. So you define your parameter store and then you can use those values in any of your Lambda scripts or any of the run command scripts that you might use in your infrastructure. Finally, after having done these things, you want to have a management infrastructure to track and update them. So under this category, you have three services, inventory, patch manager and automation just as the name says when we are talking about inventory it is a list of all the instances that you have and the packages libraries and everything and patch manager will help you to cre create a baseline and then you can enforce the baseline using the state manager and finally automation helps you to bind all these services together so that your life as a system admin or a cloud engineer is relatively easy if you have any questions or if you want more Watch my next video on how to configure systems manager. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.